Here's how to make a podcast with Descript. This is one of our top picks for best podcast software right now. With awesome podcast recording and podcast editing tools, you'll be able to podcast like a pro in no time. We're gonna walk through the process start to finish, whether you're doing a solo show or a team show or maybe having guests, and we're gonna make sure that you can do it and have the highest quality recordings possible. If you don't have a Descript account yet, the first thing you will do is go to their website. We've included the link in the description of this video and click sign up. You can sign up really quickly for a free account. Another thing to know about Descript is there is a software version, like an app that you can download, or there is a browser-based version. They look almost identical. So right now I am in my downloaded version of Descript. And then meanwhile, this is the browser-based version. Personally. I prefer the downloaded app version, uh, probably because when I first started using Descript, the web version was in beta and it was a little clunky, but it is out of beta. I've talked to lots of people who say they love the web-based version. So either option can work. So this is the main screen inside of Descript. And over here on the left, you've got different folders that you can access. You can also set up your own custom folder. So lots of organization that is built in. And then on the upper right here, I just wanna show you, you might wanna click on, like that's my initials, JP for Jerry Potter. Click there in your account, go to settings, just a few things that you might wanna consider looking at before you start recording. You can tell it if you want your default project to be video or just audio. So if you're only doing an audio podcast, you may not need the video part. You can a default transcription language. Like one of my clients speaks English, but she's producing a podcast in German. So it would make more sense to have that be the default transcription language. If you're new to podcasting or Descript, probably good to leave most of these settings exactly where they are on default. A couple things you might wanna look at is here, while all of the video and audio that you record or import is actually stored and backed up in the cloud, sometimes if you're using the downloaded app like I do, then it is also stored offline on your computer. So you can change where it keeps stuff. And then this next one, if you decide to use the web version all the time, then you can maybe turn that off so that it always opens those projects in the browser version. I have it turned on because I want any links from Descript to open in the app. Next step is to choose a new project and you've got an option to do a video project, an audio project, a quick recording, which is basically a quick way to do something simple if you're just trying to create a video to share with somebody, or a remote recording, which we'll talk about here in a couple of minutes. So generally, if you're doing an audio podcast, you just need to do audio project. If you're doing a video podcast, then you wanna choose video project. Now I just loaded an episode of my podcast so that I can show you some of these settings over here with a little more detail. First up is Underlord. This is essentially, Descript says, nobody wants an AI overlord, but how about an underlord that'll do everything you want? So these are all of their AI features and we'll show you some of those coming up. Project is where all of the files for your project are going to be. Scene, over here on the left, you see each of these rectangles. Those are all different scenes. And my podcast is probably edited a little bit more than most are, but inside of the scenes tab, that's where you can actually go through and apply templates or other setting features to each scene. This layers tab basically shows you all of the things that are on the screen in any given scene. And if you wanted to move something up or down, so for example, I could take this rectangle and I could drag it down here, then everything above it would appear above it. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. This is basically showing you a visual list of the order that things appear on the screen in your edit. Record is where you go if you wanna start recording, which we'll do here in just a second. Elements has titles, uh, different shapes. This is where you can add other graphics. Below that is captions. So they've really made some nice upgrades. So if you're doing a video podcast, you may wanna add captions to it. And so you can come in here and choose the captions that you want. Media is a bunch of clips that they've already cleared the usage for. So you can use them in your podcast. So you have stock video clips, GIFs from Giphy, backgrounds, photos from Unsplash. You can just come up here and search for whatever you want. And then below that is the music music tab, which is the same thing. If you wanted to add music to your podcast, this is again, all stuff that they have cleared for use in our podcast, which is really nice. Now it's time to record our episode. So there's two places you can start. One is this red record button in the middle of the screen here, or alternatively, it's also available over here in the menu on the right. So I'm gonna click that and it is going to open up this record menu in different settings. So one thing you might wanna look at before we start recording is click this little gear icon, then inside of the recording settings, 
they have a default recording resolution. So I try and record in 4K, but if you have a smaller hard drive or a slower computer, you may wanna lower this. 1080p is generally gonna be fine for most podcasts or any other things that you record. But just be aware that that's there. 1080p will give you smaller file sizes and things like that too. Now we've got three different options for the way that we can record. If you wanna do audio only, then we would click audio only. You can see my screen camera preview has disappeared from the screen there. If you wanted to do camera, then you would click that next option. And if you wanted to do a screen share, which is generally not gonna happen a lot in podcasts, but you can record your screen inside of Descript as well. So after that, we're gonna go right below that and we need to choose the right settings for all of our equipment. Are you recording computer audio? If so, make sure that's on. For most podcasts, I'm not gonna want their computer sound in the background. Although I guess you might if you were trying to mix music as you were going, but I'm gonna go ahead and Click that to disable it. Next up is the camera. Click and make sure you have the correct camera selected for your recording. And finally, make sure you have the right microphone selected for your recording. By the way, quick tip, even if you're doing an audio only podcast, I recommend recording the video as well because you can always take clips from it and promote it on social media by turning clips into Instagram Reels or YouTube Shorts. When all your settings are good to go, it's time to record. Although I do recommend just recording a 10 second test just to make sure everything looks and or sounds the way that you want it much better to do that every time than record a 20 or 30 or 60 minute episode and then find out that your microphone wasn't connected properly or something like that. So we're gonna click the big record into script button here to get started. It's gonna give us that three second countdown and then we can start recording. So um, let's do, uh, Welcome to the Primal Video Podcast, where we help you grow your brand and scale your revenue with video. My name is Jerry Potter, I'm your host, and today I'm gonna share the Primal Video Editing Method, which is very different than the way most people typically start editing video. And in the end, it's going to save you hours, perhaps in a single project, but certainly over the months and years, you'll save tons and tons of hours by using our method, okay? Here's step number one. Now at this point, you would do your content for your episode, everything that you're gonna say, everything like that. I will suggest that as you go through, treat it like it's live. Don't stop and retake every time you mess up something just ever so slightly. One, it comes across as more real and authentic, and two, it is much faster editing wise than trying to get everything absolutely perfect. Now, if you have a big coughing fit in the middle, <coughs> obviously you're gonna wanna take that part out. Then once you've done all your content, you wrap up the episode. Thank you so much for listening or watching on YouTube to the Primal Video Podcast. If you found this helpful, please take a moment and share the episode with someone else that might benefit from it as well. And we'll see you in the next episode. Then we come over and hit this red button next to the video preview. It'll look different if you're doing audio only, of course, but still gonna be a red stop button. And right now, Descript is taking everything I just said for the episode and it is creating a transcript. Look at that, already done. Now that was only two minutes, so that's gonna be faster than if you were recording the 20 or 30 minute episode, but it really is impressive with how fast it goes. So at this point, we are done recording our episode and now it's time to edit. And if you've never used Descript before, the beautiful thing is all you have to do is edit the text and then it will edit the video to match. So here I started off. Welcome to the Primal Video Podcast where we help you scale your audience. Nope, that's where I messed up, right? And then I got it right the second time. So I'm just going to highlight that just like you would in a Word document or a Google Doc and I hit delete and now the video has been edited to match exactly that. Now again, hopefully you won't have too many edits to do, but anytime you do, it's the same thing. So I got down here and I said, okay, here's step number one. And then of course, this is that middle part where I pretended to have a coughing fit and all of that kind of stuff, but this is not part of the episode. So I'm gonna scroll down here to the wrap up. Thank you so much for listening or watching on YouTube. So again, I hit delete. Then I come down to the very end and then we'll see you in the next episode. That was the last thing I said. So again, I highlight that and hit delete. Just like that, my episode has been edited. Now I just undid those edits because I wanna show you a couple of other cool things that Descript does. So if we click on Underlord, which is the AI features in Descript, we have a few editing things here. For example, I would start by using the shortened word gaps feature. And what this does is it finds all the silence and removes it. So it's different for everybody depending on their speech pattern. But I usually do, if it's longer than 0.5 seconds, edit it down to 0.5 seconds. 
And so then I click shorten all and our recording just went from 136 to 129. So if you have big gaps in there that you're gonna have to edit out anyway, that does it in a couple of seconds. The next thing you can do in their Underlord features for editing is do remove retakes. So you click on that, click submit, and it's gonna look for the places where you said the same thing more than once. So you can see it caught that edit we did right at the beginning where I said, welcome to Primal Video Podcast. And then I said it again because I got it wrong. So it'll give you a quick preview here and it'll show you everything that you said more than once. And if it looks right, then you can just say, apply edits to script and then it'll edit it to match over here in your main composition. So that's how you do it if you were doing a solo episode, but let me show you really quick how you would do it with guests. And in Descript, they have another tool called Squadcast, which is a company that they bought, which is specifically for recording guests. So I'm gonna click new project and I'm gonna click remote recording. Now I know it says it's still in beta, but I use this for my podcast every single episode and it has been working really, really well. I click that. It opens up just like this. Make sure that you have the right microphone and camera and everything selected again. When you're ready, you can go into join session. And then in the upper right corner here, you'll see this little invite button. You can click invite to the stage, which is where you would have a guest or a co-host. And then you would click this copy link button. And then you can send that link to whoever you want, just like you would a Zoom link. And then they'll be able to enter this virtual room with you to record the episode. And here's the beauty of Squadcast is it will record the guest on their computer and it'll record you on your computer. And at the end, it uploads them both to the cloud in top quality. So even if the internet is not very good or it drops out or anything like that, you still get a high quality local recording of both you and your guest and or co-host. So really, really valuable if you are doing a show with more than one person. From the dashboard in Squadcast 2, you can also do new session and schedule a session ahead of time so somebody has the link ahead of time. And the guest has no work to do. They just click the link, it opens in their browser, and they are ready to go. Once your podcast is ready, it's time to either export it or upload it to wherever you're going to host it. And so you're going to come up here and you're going to click this black publish button. And you have a couple of options here, okay? First of all, if you are going to put it on a service that's connected to Descript, for example, I click this drop down here. Here's Buzzsprout, which is the tool that I use for my podcast. I can actually upload directly to Buzzsprout without ever having to put it on my computer. You can go to Google Drive. You can go to Podbean as another podcast popular host. All of these are built in here. Now there's a couple that are grayed out like Captivate, which is another great podcast tool, but it unfortunately only will let you send an audio file. And since this is a video file, it won't let you send it to Captivate. Now, if this was audio only, you would also be able to export to Captivate and you'll also see YouTube is here. So you can go direct to those platforms by choosing the appropriate one, adding the correct information, and then it'll just add it to your YouTube channel as private, then you can go through and add additional settings and write the description and all of that kind of stuff. Now you'll also see we have this export tab. So what's the difference? Well, first of all, the publish tab means all of the rendering of your files happens in the cloud on Descript's servers, which apparently are way faster than mine. And so I always come in here to the publish tab and if, even if I just wanna download it to my computer, I just click this download button right here and it'll save it on my computer. But you can also use this export tab where you have a few more settings in terms of what you want to export, the resolution, the quality, different things like that. And so you can use this as well if necessary. However, just know that it's going to create it using your computer's resources, your computer's memory. So it tends to go a little slower and it's hard to do other things on your computer while it's happening. So I'm going to choose the publish option. I'm going to click this download button. It's going to ask me to name it. I hit save and now it is rendering it to my computer. Look, it's already at 45% just like that. But the other thing is while it's doing that, I can still then click back out in Descript and go and do other things. I don't have to sit there and wait for it to finish. If you are starting a podcast, I've linked to a couple of videos you might find helpful on the screen, including best podcast microphone for beginners, as well as how to get your podcast on YouTube. There's also a link to my channel where I help entrepreneurs streamline their workflow and really generate leads and build their authority with YouTube and podcast marketing. If that sounds like something you'd like, I'd love to have you subscribe and see you over there. And as always, there's tons of resources and links in the description of this video. We will see you in the next one.